Hi everyone. In my last video, I had mentioned how I would be using these products that Arteza had sent to me um, to do a review on them and see how they hold up compared to the other products I've used. Now on their website, they say that their self-adhesive vinyl can be used indoor or outdoor. So in the past, when I've used Cricut vinyl and when I've used Sizer vinyl, both of those brands if they're the high gloss, then they're the ones that can usually withstand um, outdoor elements, such as on a car vehicle for vinyl decals and things like that. So we'll be doing videos showing those, but today's video, I'm going to show them on these little cups that I found from Dollar Tree. Now these are super easy to adhere vinyl to and they make great custom gifts. So I'm going to show you how to use free apps and free fonts to do whatever you want to make gifts, um, maybe for some kids or a kid's party that you have going on with specifically this Arteza vinyl. Now in part, the reason why I chose these cups is as a mom, I usually don't put these types of cups in the dishwasher. Um, I know it's gonna probably change the size of them. They're not going to hold up super great. They are from the Dollar Tree. So they're a good plastic and it's nice that these are BPA free, but they usually don't hold up to heat very well. So I would not recommend um, if you give these to friends, I would tell them make sure to hand wash and not put them, do not put them in the dishwasher. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the stickers off of these little bottles. The nice thing is these are pretty removable without adding any residue left behind. So first I take all the stickers off and um, then I rub the whole thing with rubbing alcohol. You can take just a cotton ball um, or a cotton pad is what I usually use like for washing my face and I rub it all over this, especially where I'm gonna be adhering my vinyl because you don't want any hand oils on it so that it can stick the best way it can. Now, since the purpose of this video is to review the Arteza vinyl, uh, they sent this vinyl to me for free for me to try it out and review it online for you guys. So um, I'm sure you're gonna wanna see what colors are included in this. I'll also link my unboxing video here so you can see that. On the back of the box, it shows you exactly what colors are coming in it. Um, there's 42 sheets, two of those which are a glossy black, two are a glossy white, one is a matte black, and one is a matte white. There are also a few metallics in here as well. So since I know for sure that glossy is usually the most resilient as far as permanent, those are the ones that I have pulled out to use for today's project. So on the hot pink one, I'm going to put the name on it in turquoise. For the turquoise one, I'm gonna use hot pink. And then for the purple, Instead of using like a yellow, I decided to go with a gold, but this one is called brushed gold. So you can see it has a little bit of lines through it, like if you had taken a paintbrush, and that's what I'm gonna cut that girl's name out of. Then I'm gonna fill those with candy, and that is going to be the gifts for those three girls. But I'm sure you wanna see what the other pieces look like. So these are your two sheets of glossy white, these are the two sheets of glossy black. And then they have other shades of blue and pink in here as well. So this is a very light pink instead of the fuchsia. Here's the matte in white. Here's a bright yellow. Here's the matte black. This is a kind of like a burgundy red. Here's the silver. Here's like a mustard yellow. Again, these are all glossy, so they should hold up like permanent, permanent vinyl. A dark smoky gray, I really love this color. Here's a nice neutral cream. A bright green, bright orange, like a sand brown. This is a brushed silver, so it has the lines in it like the brushed gold. 
a darker green, a lilac, like a fluorescent green or spring green, midnight blue. There's like a royal blue, bright red, light lighter cream. This is the regular gold, so it is metallic, but it doesn't have the brushed lines through it. Now here is super hot pink. And then we go on to a yellow orange. Here's another green, another type of green, a royal blue, a brighter blue, so many different shades of blue. Blue green, orange, that's a true cherry red there. This is like an espresso brown, another shade of blue. Here's a gray. So what I'm probably gonna do um, is I'm gonna group together like my blues and my greens in particular so that I can see them side by side uh, to see how those shades look. But that's a quick flip, flip through for you of what the colors are that come in this um, in this pack what's so nice about this pack especially if you're a hobbyist is that you get a ton of colors for very little money and I will link um, my affiliate link below that means if you choose to purchase by using my link they do pay me a slight commission for it a small amount usually just like a few cents um, but it doesn't cost you any more to use my affiliate link. So thank you so much for using that link below if you choose to. And now let's get on to the project. So today I'm going to show you the really easy way that I use the fonts right within my Cricut Design Space. Now there's a whole different series on how to upload um, different fonts into your Cricut Design Space. So I'll do a different video on that with the AnyFont app on adding um, additional free fonts that you can find from the internet into your Cricut Design Space. Today's video is just going to be simply using the font that you find in your system to make these uh, customized names for um, Dollar Tree gifts. So click on New Project and click on text. Now here you can choose to use a free font that is included um, with your Cricut or if you don't own the font you can buy it individually for $4.99 or if you subscribe to Cricut Access it will be included. So anything with an A is included in your monthly subscription uh, with Cricut Access. The free way is to use whatever is already on your system, whatever is already installed on your iPad or other fonts that you have imported into your iPad. So for me in particular, um, there is a font that I have imported. It is called KiteScript. That's the one I'm going to be using today. So all you do is type out the name and you can see how it looks just like this. So when you initially type it out, you're going to see it has all of this spacing between it. Now you can go to letter space and click zero on that and it'll bring it really close together but I still don't like the way it has automatically spaced these. So the next thing I'm going to do is click Actions and I'm going to Ungroup. What Ungroup does is it takes all these letters and makes them separate. So now you can see they all move individually like that. The nice thing with Cricut Design Space is it keeps things level for you. It'll pop up these automatic lines that kind of guide you as to where you want to place your items. I know I want these letters to overlap a little bit on these edges because I want this to be one piece when I cut it out. So I'm connecting this in such a way where the letters touch. So you'll see it gives you this little guideline here and that's so nice it snaps it into place so that you know you're nice and level. 
but I'm gonna move it just a little bit more past that guideline. Sometimes it can be a little tricky with those guidelines. I wanna move it just a little more so that I know it's overlapping. Okay, so after I've moved all my letters exactly how I want them, I'm going to draw a box and highlight all those letters, and I'm going to click Weld. Now what that has done is it has connected all my letters all together so that I know when it's time to cut, then they are all going to be connected. So the simple way to do this now is to click Make It. And because um, I didn't select a color, I just had it in black. That's why it looks black. Um, but I'm actually cutting this one out of a different color. It doesn't matter what's on your screen as long as your letters are where they are. But here you can really see what size this is. This name is almost six inches long. That's way too big for my project. So at this point, you'll want to measure your water bottle and see how much space you have right here to put a name. So this is just a plastic ruler. I got this at Dollar Tree as well. And I just measure from here to here. I see I have four inches to have a name go all the way across this way. I really want it to be nice and bold, so I'm gonna make it the full four inches. Now here, I want to see how tall I can make it. I know it's gonna curve around this part a little bit, and that's fine but I'm gonna make it no taller than two inches. So we want a four inch by about two inch uh, product here. So we're gonna go back to our canvas in order to edit this. So again, I'm gonna to touch on the name and I'm gonna click edit. And here you'll see the width and the height along with a lock. Now it's important with fonts that you probably wanna keep that lock on as much as possible. You can tweak it a little bit, but if you do it too much, it'll either look too stretched one direction or the other. So I know for sure I want my width to be four inches. So I'm gonna do that first. What's amazing with this font is look at what it automatically changed the height to. Because I had the lock on, it automatically went to two inches high. So this part, the capital K, is going to be the actual two inches high. And I'm at my maximum length of four inches. So I'm going to leave it just like that, and that's how we're going to cut out this piece of vinyl on our Cricut. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click Make It, Replace with the new version, so you can see it on here. It's just a little bit bigger than four inches, but that's because of how it overlaps on the um, on the mat on that portion and that's fine because I had a little bit of extra space on this particular one. I'll click continue. Okay, so you'll see mine automatically came up to paper plus. That is not the setting you want to use here. That means that when I turned on my Cricut machine, this is the setting is it is currently on. So you either want to turn your dial to vinyl or you want to turn it to custom. In my case, because I know it works perfect on the vinyl setting, I'm just going to turn the dial to vinyl. So as, as you can see, I have now moved my dial to vinyl plus. Now, before we hit the cut button, we want to load our materials. So for vinyl, I usually use the blue light grip mat because in this case, I'm doing a whole 12 by 12 sheet and it already has its own adhesive backing and I don't wanna separate that from the vinyl. The light grip mat is just enough stick to make it stay in place in order to get the cut that I need. Now, one thing I love about this Arteza vinyl is that it comes in these flat sheets. There is no fighting with the roll. Any of you who've worked with the roll of vinyl, you know what I'm talking about. You have to cut it down and then try to fight with it to roll it flat. 
but these Arteza sheets are completely flat. There's no fighting, there's no fussing, there's no cutting. I can just put it right on the mat. So for that, I really love this so far. Okay, let's go cut out this name. A lot of you gave me suggestions of names for her. Um, I'll reveal her name on another video, but she matches this vinyl just perfectly. All right, so let's hit cut. So that was very easy to weed. I had no problems taking it out at all. When I look at this particular pink, it's almost got a little bit of a metallic sheen inside of it. It's really pretty. I don't think it can really capture it in the video, but it's almost like a little bit of white sparkle in there. It's really pretty. All right, so we're gonna take this one off and we are going to add it to our um, Dollar Tree bottle, but again, remember to wipe this down with some alcohol first. So let me go get that. So for today, what I'm using is this one, 70% isopropyl alcohol. I think I got this one at Sam's. It came in a two pack. Um, usually what I prefer to use is the little alcohol wipies, but I ran out of mine. So when I get some more, I usually get those at the pharmacy. They're the ones that are alcohol wipes, not baby wipes. Um, baby wipes have too much residue in them. They're not true alcohol. So um, I just put a little bit on this makeup sponge and we're just gonna wipe this really good. Also disinfects everything, but gets rid of any residue that was left behind. And let this dry for a second or two. Don't, don't apply your decal while this is wet. I know for this particular project that this one piece of transfer tape is gonna last me the whole project because um, I can reuse it. These are going on clean water bottles. There's no fabric or any fuzz like that or paper fuzz. So I know I'll be able to use this transfer tape for this entire project that I'm doing today. So I only need to cut one piece of transfer tape and use it for all three water bottles. So now I'll seal up my transfer tape. I just use washi and I reuse the washi every time as well. I just carefully unpeel it. And um, this is the Cricut transfer tape that I use and it works just fine. So now we're gonna take our design. We're going to unpeel the white backing from the clear transfer tape. Now you'll see that with the clear transfer tape, the grid is on the tape. So that kind of helps you line things up. I have a piece of a white dot from another project of something, but I'm going to ignore that. That's not going to affect my design because it's on the outside. So I'm going to take this grid line and I'm going to line it up with the E, the N, and the A. And then I know that's going to be fairly straight for my project. The next thing I do is I take a brayer. Some use a squeegee. I use a brayer. And then you'll see your design will come up with it. Just go slow with it. Take it at different angles and follow your letters. You'll feel the pool and you just want to go with the direction of your letters and it'll all come up. Oh, I love this vinyl. It works so good. All right. I'm sorry. Let me use proper grammar. It works so well. Okay. So now here's my water bottle. And what I do is I start with the middle of the name. So say the middle of my transfer tape is this line right here. I'm going to start by laying that line down first and then let the rest kind of fall into place and just work in that motion. Okay, and then I don't press it down with the transfer tape. 
because I don't want to have to fight with that transfer tape getting it off. I just barely put the name on there so that if I had any bubbles, I can easily go in and take them out with my nail before I've actually really pushed it hard down onto my project. And as you can tell, my transfer tape still has plenty of sticky. So I'm going to take that same glossy side that I had before. It's actually this one and lay it on there so I can reuse it for my next cup. All right, so there's my first one. Really cute. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the test for this next one is that this is a slightly different feeling of vinyl. This is a brushed metallic so we're going to see if that same setting of vinyl plus on the Cricut will work on this uh, just as well. So let's run our test cut and see if it works. When you get it off the machine, you'll really be able to tell. The, the line will feel different to you when it has actually gone all the way through the material. And you can see when I bend my mat slightly, you can see that that letter is already coming off. So I know that this has cut all the way, so I'm gonna take it off my mat and start cutting. So right away, you'll see that it is different with the metallic. This is the regular vinyl, the premium vinyl that they have. Um, and you'll see it's pink on the front and it's on the back. Now the metallic has more of a film finish. It actually feels slightly thinner and it comes off just as easy, if not easier than the regular vinyl. So again, work in angles, don't try to pull straight. Um, your design can suffer a little bit if you try to pull straight and then go over the top. And there we go. Okay, so the same thing. I'm gonna take that same piece of transfer tape that I used before. Okay, so this is where it's trickier with metallics they can be a bit harder to stick on to your transfer tape. So you may need to work a little bit harder with your metallics in order to get them to stick. So again, work with the flow of your letters. Don't try to go perfectly straight. Follow the pull. You'll feel the pull, so just go with it. All right, so this is going on the purple one. So this one, you'll see I have a little bubble here, but the metallic and the vinyls come up so easily that I can just pick that piece up with my nail a little bit and I can straighten it out. And now I have no bubbles. So cute, so pretty. I loved that brushed gold look. So I thought I'd step you through the process one more time. I have one more name to do. I'm gonna do text. I'm gonna click system. I'm going down to a font that I had already downloaded for free. This one is called Kite Script. And this last one, I just type out the name. When I look at it, it's really spread out, looks pretty ugly. That's okay. We're going to hit Actions and we're going to hit Ungroup. Then we'll move each individual letter. Let me zoom in so you can see better. So to zoom in and out, just slide your fingers in and out on the iPad. Take that letter, slide it over. You'll see the guidelines are built in for you. If you wanna play around with a group of letters, you can highlight a few like that and group them together temporarily. 
and you can see if you want to place them more like that closer like that I think I am going to connect it to the T just like that all right so then you can highlight everything and click weld and now this whole name is one now remember I have a certain size that I know so I'm going to click edit I have the lock button on and I'm going to make my width four inches it automatically sizes it to 1.8 which I know that is the size my ideal size is about two inches so this is going to fit my project just fine so let's cut this one out of the turquoise So my opinion of the Arteza vinyl is this is the perfect vinyl for doing hobbies and crafts. It lays down so easily, it stays down. I've washed these in cold water and they have not come off at all. They are waterproof, they are permanent. The metallic is absolutely beautiful. It sticks to the transfer tape actually pretty easily compared to some other metallics I've used from other brands. This is the black glossy. So this is like what you would use for the decal of a car, either the black glossy or the white glossy. And this holds really well. And then here's the last one. So pretty. And the variety of colors, some of them look like they have a little bit of metallic sheen in them. Um, others are this brushed metallics. Others are just glossy. For the value of what you get with the amount of colors, in this package is amazing. So check out their, um, their website. I'm going to link them below with my affiliate link. So the price point on these sheets is running very similar to the competition at about $2 a sheet. So the benefit of this though, is that you get 38 colors and different finishes, including the brushed metals and the metallics. Um, along with glossy and matte vinyl all in one package instead of having to buy 30 different rolls of different colors and having to figure out where to store all of that this is one small package with a variety of colors that you can use at any time the other advantage is they are already flat no fighting with the roll to get it to lay flat so I hope you enjoyed this video. These water bottles are such a great gift idea for this summer. With the summer heat coming on, they're a great pool party gift, uh, end of school gift. Fill them with little candies or goodies and hand them out to your kids' classmates. In a few days, I'll be making these products also available for sale on my website if you want to purchase some of them for yourself as well. Thanks for watching.